Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. It's the day before Mother's Day. I want to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, the, the main thing that I would like everyone to realize is that uh, the issue of health care and the problems we've had in health care, you are part of the solution. Education is the only way we're going to be doing anything about health care and, and, and what, where we're going to go in the future. With the new extended life expectancy, this is what we wanted to get to today. So now we're, 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 we're living a lot longer, we're keeping teeth a lot longer, we're keeping a record number of teeth a lot longer. The epidemic of wear has joined cavities and gum disease as the condition that we most often treat. And we call this uh, ISTLLMM syndrome. And uh, what, we, what you start to see in these particular cases is, right here, you can see Diane. Diane came in to us and she did have braces before she began to see us. So this is a common problem that we see. A lot of folks are seeing this. And what you see here is that the face is starting to shrink down. You start to get the nose starts to appear a little bit bigger. The lips start to disappear. The whole face starts to scrunch down uh, for the particular person. And you can see here the chin starts to come out, out here. Nose starts to look good. And what we want to do is we want to be able to turn around and look at what, what they can do. Uh, the increased number of teeth that you save, you've increased the years that you're going to need to use your teeth, and the options for rehabilitation or repair continue to deteriorate. What are you going to do? Are you going to allow this to continue to happen, or do we have a new method in order to help restore these kind of people? And that leads to, I'm starting to look like my mother's syndrome. <laughs> That's what happens. If you're going to live and you're going to continue to age, what is going to happen is, is that if you didn't have the proper care, and sometimes even if you did, you're going to start to shrink down and you're going to have an issue with what, what, what are we going to do as you start to get older and you start to look like your mother. But really, the, I'm starting to look like my mother syndrome is something that I recognized 30 years ago and something that I developed. With. If you've ever seen the extreme makeover shows, the guys who taught them to do it were the guys that I developed with. The, the scenarios with back in high school 30 years ago. These are just the listing of the things that we talked about. Um, the, many of the effects that you can see are correctable without surgery. Um, it has the dental virtual facelift actually has a positive effect on the function of your mouth and the structure of your mouth because if you go um, through all the different things, it's going to restore the lower face dimension. It's going to allow the lips to unfurl. It's going to allow the length to occur for the muscle not to be pooching out. Um, the, you'll be able to see the teeth underneath the lip again, the nose and chin will change, and the chewing deficiency actually improves. So if you look at this patient, but if you look at her skin, her skin is in great shape. She really doesn't have lines, but if you look at the side of her face, you'll see that her chin appears really sticking out, and her nose appears longer, and her lips actually make an actual frown. If you look at her after her length has been increased here, the chin Recedes back is not so prominent. The nose seems more balanced with the face. The lips actually are horizontal, which is where they should be, and you actually see more lips. And that's all a result of that framework being there. Without that framework there, no matter how much you have done in your mouth or how much plastic surgery, if you have cheeks that are bulging out like this, they're not going to be able to cut your muscles away. That's why this is a virtual facelift without the surgery. And it's something that, unfortunately, whether you like it or not, you're going to end up, if you live long enough, having to have every cramp tooth in your mouth crowned, because that's just wear, tear, and age. And if you're going to do it, it's a choice on how do you want to look when you're finished. And we can do these in stages, too. This is, again, before and after. Even when she tries to smile, the most she gets is a horizontal line, and you can see her lips rolling in. Of course, she does have lipstick on here, but if you look, she's got the exact same earrings on, her nose is lined up, her eyes are lined up, and you can see the drastic difference and what a difference it makes in your facial appearance. It supports the musculature of the mouth, it supports chewing efficiency, it supports the TMJ, which when it's overworked, is overworking, and it actually de-stresses your teeth because when you are overclosed, you are putting too much pressure on your teeth. So, and again, this is 15 days later. And we can do it in as little as four days. I have to pre-schedule that with my lab guy, but we can prepare your teeth on Monday and put everything in on Thursday. And that is a possibility. But if you look at the face, you know what the face should look like. And that's what we're looking at. Lisa is here. Um, Lisa, her, her, her mouth adjusted. She's, you've lost your headaches. You've lost, 
and, she, and it's all gone because she's opened up and her jaw is where it's supposed to be now. And that's exactly it. As you can see, her eyes look very large here. Her nose looks a little askew and her lips are rolling in. We opened up, we opened her almost an inch, which is a huge amount. But what it did was it pulled the lines out from around her eyes and allowed her lips to unfurl and it gave her a balanced look to her face. So why haven't I been told of this before? This is the first adult generation that's lived this long, that's had the teeth that they've actually saved that we're now having to deal with. All those people that should have had braces years and years ago and did not, every single one of them, if they live long enough, is going to have to go through some version of this. You can do one tooth at a time, but that's repairing your teeth, or you can restore your teeth. That's basically our presentation for today. If you have any questions, um, we'd love to answer them. 